This problem describes two trains heading straight toward each other, each train moving at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour relative to the ground. For some reason, when the trains are 60 kilometers apart, a bird begins moving back and forth between the two trains, stopping at the edge of one train and immediately moving towards the other train, and repeating this cycle continuously until the trains crash. We are asked to find the total distance traveled by the bird before the collision, and also the bird is traveling at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour. This problem might seem a little bit confusing, understandably, since pretty much everything about this situation is extremely bizarre. But if we take the facts provided at face value, then there are some assumptions that can be made to simplify things a bit. Since the bird is quickly moving back and forth between the trains, then we can approximate the bird's motion as being in constant flight. All we're told about the bird's speed is that it flies at 60 kilometers per hour, so let's just assume that the bird is flying at a constant speed too. In reality, the bird would need to accelerate and decelerate in order to change directions at all, but for now let's just go with the odd idealizations that the problem is asking us to make. So, if the bird is moving at a constant speed until the trains collide, then what we need to find is how long it takes for the trains to collide in the first place. Because the trains are each moving at 30 kilometers per hour, that means that each train is moving relative to the other train at a rate of 60 kilometers per hour, which is the rate at which the gap between the trains should be closing. We can use this reference frame to find out how much time it will take for the trains to come together. From the formula for average speed, we can multiply both sides by t, and divide both sides by v to see that an amount of time can be found by a change in position over speed, which in this case is the relative distance that one train has to follow relative to the other, which in this case is 60 kilometers, divided by the speed of one train relative to the other, which in this case is 60 kilometers per hour. This tells us that the time it will take for the trains to collide is one hour. We know that this is the same amount of time that it will take for the bird to stop flying. Once again, from the average speed formula, multiplying both sides by t, so that it cancels out on this side, we can see that a distance is equal to the speed multiplied by the time. We know that the bird speed is 60 kilometers per hour, And we now know that the bird is in flight for one hour. 60 times 1 is just still 60. So the bird travels a total distance of 60 kilometers.